Hello there. Yes, good evening. Good evening. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I am ahead of myself. I've just been saying I've lost track of time. That was a bit ridiculous, wasn't it? Now then, the girls are here, the Stamp Addict girls. We've got Vicky and we've got Sarah as well. It's been such a long time since I've worked with them as well. So I'm just going to say a very good afternoon to Hello. the pair of them. <laughs> uh, both of you are going to be demonstrating, aren't you, yes. Sarah? Yes, we are. Yeah, from Wonderful. different sides of the room, I think. <laughs> yes, yes, keeping that social distance. Let's have a look what we've got because we've got some new todays for you and these are lovely. We've got the Peking and Praying Angels for you. Now, these are cling-mounted rubber stamps. You're getting two stamps in the set for just £13.50 and, and these are brand new for today. Item number 493300. Wait until you see the samples as well. I think you can already see by the packaging how adorable these little characters are. Aren't they so sweet? Let me just show you the stamps as well so you can see that they are grey rubber. You've already got the cushioning on there for you as well. So ready just to cling to your blocks or your platforms and away you go. But wait until you see these samples because you don't have to use these individually. Of course, you can have a whole group of angels. If you're wondering how that was done, I'm sure we're going to see these in demonstration. Do you know what? We've got three of them there. But what about a whole choir? Isn't that clever? Absolutely beautiful. Oh, these samples are gorgeous. Again, I'm going to do what I always do. Well done, design team. Um, always hard work goes in here. There's so many different samples here using those stamps. It just shows how adaptable these are as well. That's a lovely stepper card there. If I just open that out so you can really see how that works. Isn't that effective? Just a little gorgeous. bit of sparkle. A little <laughs> bit of sparkle. That actually, that works really, really well, yeah, doesn't it? It does. Do you know, th this, these are gorgeous. Every single one of these samples is different. As I just give you the details again, and we're just going to keep showing these. I've got so many. We might see some more a little bit later on. Well, do you know what? I'm going to give you one more sample, and then the rest I'm going to show later. Isn't that clever as well? On the acetate there. Really beautiful. Perhaps you went for some of the dyes in um, John's One Day Special. They would work very well with these images as well. Gorgeous. John Item made four that card. Nine, three. Sorry? John made that card. Did he? Yeah. Did he? He did. Ah, oh, John, next door. And the, and the two standing at the front there, he made those as well. Well, I didn't. Ah, <laughs> now I can see the frame. <laughs> yeah. Do you know, and I didn't know that. Oh, very nice indeed. Well done, John. Amazing work there. Thirteen pounds and fifty pence is the price for the two. Do you know you're loving these already? Twenty percent of the stock has gone. Four nine three three zero zero. I will save another pile of samples to show you a little bit later. But we've got more as well. Let's have a look at this one. I think this is going to be another popular one. Now, what about the partridge in the pear tree? That's what you've got here. You have got that pear tree. The partridge is there. Can you spot it? You, it's quite easy to spot, isn't it? Ross has got it in the gallery. There we are, $9.99 for this one as well. You can see grey rubber again, already cushioned for you. The cling stamp once again, really lovely. I like this one, Sarah, because I think if you want to batch make your cards, this is a nice, easy one to work with. Have that production line going. Yes. But you could change the effects so easily oh, yeah. with the different mediums. It's really mediums. versatile because it's solid. Yeah. So you can colour it with your, your pens direct onto Amazing. the rubber. So you can yeah. pick out the pears and the partridge. You'll see the samples that one stays on, that acetate. Lovely. We're just looking at one of the samples on the counter, but I've got lots more here as well. I like that idea that you just said, actually, to stamp the tree and then pick out the yeah. partridge or pick yeah. out the pears. So, you, you know, you, it really sort of draws the eye in there. If I just open the front of this one out so you can see the acetate there. So that's the stays on ink on there. That's the new stays on pigment ink. Oh. Yeah, it's really lush. Oh. <laughs> I might have to put that on my shopping list now as well. I've been shopping again already today. That's there, our white embossing that. powder. That is beautiful. It's in our brand shop with the black detail and the little tiny trays. Oh, so do you know, I love that. On the white on the craft yeah. card always works, doesn't it? This is very nice as well. We can see there's some gilding underneath there. So that's that a sticky back uh, plastic. It's called a laminating sheet. Right. So a sticky okay. back plastic. So you stamp on the front with your archival or your stays on peel off the backing and then put the whole sheet of gold leaf on the back. Amazing, so effective. You see, just with that one stamp, every single one of these samples is completely different. That's a lovely effect as well there. That's, Vicky's going to show you how to do this with the sticky stuff and the gold leaf. Oh, oh, we'll come back to that one then. More samples to show a little bit later on, but we do want to get to those demonstrations. There we are, another new today, 999 413 999. 
Now we've got some snowflakes for you next, and these are so pretty, very, very detailed. You know, when we say snowflakes, you, you kind of imagine snowflakes. You do get them in all sorts of different forms. In fact, we've got a few just fluttering down the screen there as well. But these are very, very pretty because you've got those kind of flourishy feels in there. You've got the swirls. They're very elegant. Yes. Yeah, they are. Um, obviously, all the rubber stamps in today's show are designed by Judy Kins, our American friends and they've given us license to manufacture them cling mounted oh, so wonderful we're the only people in the world that can do them not on wood <laughs> oh wow so yes yes of course now again samples here these make great background pieces don't they the snowflakes you know it's stamping off the edge of the page there, as you can see on this particular sample this is very pretty i think that because the colors as well work so beautifully but just one single snowflake on a card is, is perfect with a little bit of wording as well. It is, and you just got to change the colours. So you Definitely. can different people, different colours, so tags to match. And you'll notice little sentiments on a lot of these cards, which are in the new stamp set today. Yes, we will get to those, so watch out for those as well. That's very elegant as well. I do like that a lot. These samples are gorgeous. I like these. 9.99 new today again you're getting both of them 034838 again i'll save a few samples for later i do this all the time sarah i, I say that's it and then i spot I'm like, oh i've got to show that i'm definitely keeping those separate so we get to show as many as we can 034838 as i say if you want to go for those snowflakes there really really lovely now the sentiments that sarah's just been talking about we've got some for you here and again you know when it comes to christmas we want those different sentiments we want something a little bit quirky perhaps we want the traditional we want the different fonts as well what I like about this set is you've got all of those things there you've also got the vertical and the horizontal so for instance you can see the Christmas word that goes down the page it's nice to have those options we don't always want everything that's in a straight line going horizontally do we? it's nice to no. have something else yeah definitely I mean that's why the the set that we sold out of last time the wavy words so we'll be bringing that back next time okay because <laughs> that's another alternative so if you've got waves it doesn't matter if it's not straight. Of course not. No, we do we'll get know. a little. We get a little <laughs> bit concerned, don't we? Sometimes we can't stamp straight, so it's nice. You can see that particular stamp I've just been talking about on the edge of that card. Really, really classy. What I noticed in there as well, and I think you probably spotted it as we were looking at them. You've got the postage stamp for the North, North Pole. <laughs> I love that. Yes. That is really good. If you didn't spot that, look out for it next time. Oh, that's pretty. So it's something you can put on the envelopes as well. Definitely, of course yeah. you can. Uh, a very useful set indeed and a great price because you're getting 13 clear stamps all in that one set for £10.99. Another new today for you. I'm going to stop with these samples in a second just to save some for later. All beautiful. 636785 is the item number if you want to go for those as well. I think the card on the counter might have all of the stamps on it. Oh, the purple it? one. This one. It's got... It's got a lot of them, yeah. <laughs> Let's have a look. Well, we'll just have a look at that. I'm going to find that postage stamp as well. Is that one on there? Oh, it, it isn't. Oh, it, so no. just the words then. <laughs> we, but we do have... Oh, look at this one. I didn't spot that one before. Snowmen fall, fall from heaven unassembled. Isn't yeah. that clever? So you, that's what you put with your snowflakes. I love that. That is really clever. So most of the sentiments on there, but that postage stamp isn't. So do watch out for that. I love that set. That is gorgeous. Very, very busy on those as well. Uh, just a reminder there, you can see it, but 636785 is the item number. Now, we do have a returning favourite for you. We've got lots of new today, but this one has been on before. But if you missed out on it or you've seen this for the first time today, this is gorgeous as well really handy set now we'll bring the details up for you 22 individual clear stamps again on this set for just 10.99 we've seen samples in the front there which are absolutely gorgeous got many more at the back i love this wreath because it's kind of a bubble wreath isn't this effective wait until you see the samples here so it could be a wreath it could be just bubbles it could be baubles it could be well a number of different are not things. just for christmas of course they're not i mean there's a wedding sample in there and you can welcome and all different because you you hang it on your door to welcome people love it absolutely love that that is so clever wait to see this one as well what a clever use there really like these oh look and turning into flowers on top there that's a nice idea so uh, that's a non-christmas obviously so you can see the bubbles or the wreath in the background then overlaying with the little flowers let me see if i can just find that wedding one while i'm here oh we've got congratulations there 
Very pretty indeed. And that's just one of the stamps. Remember, you're getting 22 on this set. No wonder it's been a favourite. 351 849 is the item number if you want to go for that particular set. Now we've got some masking tape for you. Now, you need to see this. Look how much you get in here. Now, 10, uh, 15 centimetres is the width of this. So if I just turn it that way, you can see the width there. But you're actually getting 10 metres, 10 metres of masking tape there. I think we're going to see this in use in demonstrations as well. It's called Eclipse. Really nice to have this back on the shows as well. We'll bring you the details back up there. 1999, that is going to go such a long way. 888-209 is the item number. So over to the website, that's where we're going to see everything. Of course, all the new today is the returning favourites and much more besides as well. We will get over to Sarah for demonstration in a little while. Uh, diamond glaze is on there as well. We've got embossing powders. Amazing glaze is on there. Also sorts of goodies for you five star reviews i can see as well lots for you to uh, have a look at oh i think we might be using shrink plastic during the first demonstration as well that is also available for you um yes there's lots of goodies isn't there do fill those baskets while you've got the opportunity but let's get to sarah because the first demonstration is coming up what are we using sarah the snowflakes oh, I love the them. old love world them. they're called old world snowflakes because they're kind of yeah, elegant and classic and yeah. just, yes, they're Gorgeous. not. <laughs> so, and I've got white shrink plastic and then two of those new pigment stays-ons I was talking about. I don't know if you have those in yet. But I, do you know, I haven't seen them. <gasps> you have to talk to the buyers, you need them. Right, I shall have <laughs> words. <laughs> so it's because the original stays-on is often quite hard to use. Yeah. Because it's very dry. So these are pigment, but... Um, solvent based that's yep. the word I'm looking for so they dry on the shrink and the acetate so I'm going down gently but firmly okay. hopefully I didn't twist so and we want a couple I really do like these very elegant so let's have a couple of pink ones and oh a cleaning mat such pretty colours with those inks as well, Sarah. They are, they're vibrant, which is nice. So just clean that off. Okay. You could just use um, kitchen paper, paper towel and cleaner. So let's have some peacock feathers, this one's called. Oh, nice. I do love a nice teal. So this is the smaller one. And it dries pretty quickly, which is important on shrink because a lot of ink pads don't dry on plastic no. or you have to heat set them yeah which means you have to cut them out very carefully without touching them so we're gonna now i have cut some out already lovely so you don't have to so watch me do that so just with a pair of scissors there that yeah just them? regular scissors and obviously i've not gone in to all the detail i've just cut kind of pointy bits yeah because they're going to shrink and you're not going to see what's going on. So, I've got my scissors in hand and my heat gun. Wonderful. And anti-static. If you have an anti-static bag, just give it a little tap beforehand. It will help to stop it sticking to itself. Oh, oh that's a good tip. Because the more detailed the design, more intricate, the more likely it is to curl up okay, and get stuck. Lovely. But You've the trick got is not to panic. Very quiet heat guns as well. Well, because there's less air. Less. <laughs> I think they're amazing. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna give everybody a little bit of a heads up. Am I allowed to do this? I better check with the gallery first. There's a happy hour tonight, and I've her little birdies told me we might have these on the show. Ooh. So there will be yeah. a discount on them. So do tune in. I. I think these are fabulous heat guns. They're ranger, aren't they? They're so yes. quiet, but so useful. So effective. Yeah, there's a little less power than yeah. the pointy ones. So when you're embossing, it it takes a little longer. But as you can see, my shrink has not dived across the table. It hasn't. You're not having to chase it anywhere. It's hardly moving at all. It's <laughs> I'm going to turn it over. OK. It looks like it's a little... Oh. There we go. Oh, I love it. <laughs> so if I just turn it back. Now, I want these flat because they're going in a shaker card. So when it stops moving, it's done. Whoopsie. And I'm just going to gently place the block on top. OK. So just that to keep that nice and flat. Yeah, just to keep cools. it flat, just for a few seconds. Oh, Just a reminder, we do have the shrink plastic on the show, of course. 10 99 you're going to get a pack 
of uh, eight sheets there. This is your mix pack. Now we do have the clear if you want to go for those as well. Obviously Sarah's using the white, so you'll get that in the mix party pack. If you want to go for the clear, you'll get eight sheets of the clear. You have got the options, you can go for both if you wish. 10.99, a really good price because these are A4 sheets as well. So you're gonna get an awful lot out of them. 100932. Sarah, you know the larger snowflake there? I mean, you might be able to do it with the smaller one as this well. This is the small one. That's the small one. But with yep. the larger one, if you put a hole in there, you could yes. make earrings out of that easily as well. Definitely. And what I would do is I would put holes top and bottom and have a few hanging. Yes, of course. So you a string of them. The, smaller, yeah. you? the small one is very small, though, when it's shrunk. So you might just want to do some big ones. Yeah. Or some beads and bits in between. Oh, how lovely. But um, I did also uh, try white stays on on the gold shrink oh that looks good is that in the mix pack then do you get that in there is it no a there's there's a gold and silver pack is there yes oh we'll find that for you let's <laughs> see if we can get the details we'll try and bring those up yes i'm using the white today but the gold and silver the the sanded yeah and the clear but i just want because the vibrant colors there, you can see the metallic ones there, so do take uh, Sarah's advice there. Use your embossing powders. So you've got the gold and the silver, again the same price, 10 99 item number 777431. Oh. You could dangle some of these from the bottom of baubles as well, so it'll give you baubles a new lease of life. Yeah, definitely. And yeah, you could stick them back to back and yeah. have ribbon or thread running between them, so they're just hanging independently. Lovely. Okay, so now I want to stamp a word onto the back of my what do I go wish upon a snowflake they are lovely sentiments and we are very busy on those as well um, we might have to give a bit of an update on those because I know you're loving them remember you've got various different sentiments there traditionally you've got uh, quirky sentiments as well fun sentiments 13 individual stamps for just 10.99 so I'm just going to do a random background 40% of the stock of those has gone already. Oh, Very busy. Don't miss out on them. We only started doing clear stamps last month. Did you? Yeah. I did know you were known for your rubber, rubber stamps, but actually I hadn't even thought about it with seeing those today. Well, we've been talking about it for a couple of years, but we've just never had time to actually do anything about it until lockdown. Because oh. we're not going to shows, we're not teaching yeah. classes, we've had more time to work on these extra little things that we wanted to do. <laughs> oh. So actually we've got lots lined up for the rest of the year. Lots of little word stamps and some different images as well in the clear. Oh, lovely. As well so as all our rubber. From all bad things, sometimes there are some things that, you know, quite are a little bit beneficial. It gives us, uh, some of us, a little bit more time. Yeah, so it's nice to see those new project, uh, products coming through there. That is a beautiful font again. I love the mix of the different styles. Yeah, because you want to concentrate on the snowflake aspect Definitely. of the, the word. Just make sure it's dry. Before I... So I've pre-stamped my crease card with a stamp that we're bringing next time do you know i was going to ask Sneaky you about peak. that that was on some of the other word samples but it's got lots of frames inside it oh do look christmas out for that frame one then. stamp i've noticed that on one or two of the samples that is really pretty do keep an eye and out I've for used it, the, the wording the upright Perfect. word there so i've pre-stuck the acetate and put some foam oh which way am i going that way <laughs> can't do it upside down <laughs> so what i need to do is put my snowflakes in here let's oh, have a look lovely. what else I've got another little one and then you remember you can put glitter and rocks and beads and other little Got bits inside and things inside the shape yeah. of it so just a few little rocks Oh, do you know, I've not made a shaker card for ages. We see, we see them here, gorgeous samples, and they always, they're always those cards because people are intrigued by them. If they're yeah. not a card maker, <laughs> they receive them. They want to give them a shake. That's what they're oh, for. Yes, they but do. How did you do that? So they're so effective, see. aren't they? I can line it up. Oh, Sarah, that's going to be so pretty. There we go. And press down firmly so we don't get any escapees. Okay, so I'm going to stand that up now. Okay. <laughs> And turn it Look around. Oh, I do so you can love see that. all the little bits inside. Give it a shake. 
So you've got your little shrunken snowflakes. Oh, the thank worm. you, Sarah. What a lovely card. Absolutely gorgeous. We've got some lovely items on the show, haven't we? Let's give you a bit of a reminder, actually, because when it comes to those stamps, you can see on the screen there, they're just going to disappear, those clear stamps. We are very busy on those. But we'll give you a reminder as well on the other things. Now, the angels, also very, very busy. Brand new today. These are absolutely adorable. Now, half of the stock has already gone. So you've got your peaking and your praying angels there. Using them individually, they are absolutely gorgeous. But using them together they're just something else I am I'm going to keep my promise I'm going to show you the other samples that we haven't seen yet because we've got so many beauties here 13 pounds and 50 pence and these are rubber stamps as well they're already cushioned I adore that isn't that so sweet again using one of the sentiment stamps I've noticed as well have you been naughty or nice oh which one's naughty and which one's nice <laughs> it could go either way for me there <laughs> Do you know, they're both little angels, aren't they, really? Look at that. Then you've got the crowd of angels there, the three together. So you can cut these out and mount them together. But there are, of course, clever ways that you can use that masking tape. I think we're going to see that in demonstration where you can overlay them as well. I'm just going to run through these samples because these are the ones we haven't seen before. And they are all as equally as beautiful as each other. Do pay attention to the sentiments that have been used as well. Some of them will be on the show if you are liking them. £13.50 is the price price for both of the stamps you do get them together oh look at this one that's nice so you've got you've got the praying angel there and you've got one that's peaking just at the end I love that I think you can have so much fun with these 493300 wow you're loving these 60% of the stock has now gone I'm going to get to the bottom of these that one open. this one yeah. let's open this one up oh look look i've got to point something else out. i spotted it earlier but i didn't say about it look at the little toes how they cross over it's those little things that really really appeal to me look i think that's adorable love it love it i am sorry i've got to show you the last two because otherwise i'm leaving somebody out they're all so different there we go that's another john lockwood. is that a john lockwood yeah. I think I recognise that in the background there. John Lockwood, very well done. You're one of your own angels now, aren't you? And there we are, 493300 is the item number. 1350, as I say. We have got cues on the phone line. You are absolutely loving those. The stars of the show so far, the sentiments on the angels. You'll, across the board, it's busy. But honestly, you need to be quick with these if you want to get them. I think this stock could be vulnerable. We'll see. £13.50, as I say. But, um, do you know, we've got so much more to show you. And I know Vicky's waiting for demonstration as well. 493300 is the item number if you want to go for the angels. Now the partridge in the pear tree, really like this one again. Again, we're back to the rubber stamps here. We've already got the cling on there. They are cushioned for you, ready to go. You can change how you work with this one in so many different ways. Your embossing powders, your inks, stamping onto acetate, picking out the partridge, picking out the pears on there as well, using them in conjunction, of course, with those wonderful sentiments. You know, the choice is there. Just you stamping off the page again with that would look really nice. I adore white on craft card as well. Always looks classy. Do you know, using those different colours, your foils, your gilding flakes, so many mediums are available these days. Do you know, we are spoilt for choice, really, aren't we? We certainly are. Item number 413999 for this one as well, just 999 And it is another new today, of course. There we go. Right, another new today, of course, are those snowflakes that we've seen Sarah using. I, I absolutely love these. Um, I think they're so stylish. You've got the larger one and the smaller one. Whether you're using the shrink plastic, whether you're stamping, whether you're just using your embossing powders, your glitters. Do you know, again, so many ways of working with this set. 20% of the stock has gone. That is really nice. Again, you see just the snowflakes in the background, one of the sentiments, and then the sentiment on the front. This one, I love it and everybody can achieve that. Isn't that so pretty with the vellum there? Let me just lift that up so you can see the Merry Christmas sentiment underneath and the snowflakes on the vellum. That is gorgeous. So is this one actually, look at this. They're all beautiful, but I just keep looking down and seeing them. Oh, I really like that, really like that. Sometimes I miss making cards. I don't do so much card making nowadays. 
unless I'm doing it for samples. And then I see gorgeous samples like this thing. I need to go home and do more cards. 034838 is the item number for these. And you are getting both of those stamps, as I say. Uh, first time and the only time probably mm. that you'll ever see those without the wooden blocks. So you can just go with your blocks, your platforms on those as well. Lovely to have that information. Right, let's move down again. Proving to be very, very popular indeed. Over half of the stock has gone. These are our old world snowflakes. No, they're not. We need to change the details. These are the sentiments. Didn't think that looked right. Let's bring the sentiment details up for you. There we are. The Christmas sentiments clear stamp set. 13 stamps in total. And I am going to do it this time. I'm going to find it. Where is it? I think that is just so useful. Look at this. If we come in close. North Pole. There you can see it. Oh, PM December. Christmas is on the, I, I would want to put that on all my envelopes. Love it. Have you been naughty or nice? You can see that one. The Merry Christmas, a different fonts. The Wish Upon a Snowflake is there. The, oh, the sentiment about the uh, snowman will be on there as well, which I adore. 10.99 for this set, 636.785. And we are very, very busy. 60% of the stock has now gone on that one. Will it be a sellout this hour? We will see. We will see. Let's keep it going. We'll keep you updated on that. But if you really want anything, I would urge you to be checking those baskets out when you can because you don't want to miss out. Now, this is another one that's a favourite, but it's a returning favourite. Not a new to date. has been on before and it certainly has pro proved very, very popular. In fact, I've just spotted another stamp in there that I absolutely love. They're all fabulous, but the little sign. How useful is that one? to stamp your different sentiments in there, the little hanging sign, or you could write your own phrases in there. But the wreath, you know, whether it, it, it could be rocks, it could be bubbles, it could be baubles, it could be whatever you want it to be, and certainly not just for Christmas. There's that little sign, look. There we are. Do you know whether you're using your bright colours, whether you're using your craft card again? Um, oh, that's nice as well. No wreath at all in there, but you can see the little little fir twigs in there as well. So, you know, there's more than the, the wreath in there. We've got the bows in there as well. I love that. And I've just spotted a really nice card here as well, using those smaller elements, building up that whole wreath without using the bubbles at all, but very, very nice. Great for your corners and your framework there. 10.99 on this particular one. 351.849 is the item number. And of course we have got, it does say the bauble wreath there, but do you know what? Use that for whatever you want and build up those layers. Right, something else that always proves popular is the masking tape. Now this is a huge, huge roll because it's 15 centimeters wide. But when you see what you're getting for your money here, 10 meters in length. 19.99 is the price break that down that is very very reasonable in fact it's a it's a bargain price to me that because that's going to go such a long way 888-209 is the item number now we have got an update i'm just hearing we've got breaking news coming in the angels they've just gone limited stock oh is this what vicky's going to be using will she be using these in the demonstration not yet will we have them available we will see but limited stock on those angels do not miss out on those four nine three three zero zero oh they are oh, they've just sold out i was just going to hand over to vicky but they've gone they've just sold out oh now vicky's going to be doing the next demonstration i think somebody's going to have a little word with sarah to see if we can get any more stock we will update you i can't give you any information at the moment Let's go over to Vicky and when I've got some news or if I get news, I will let you know. Hi, Catherine. So I'm using the partridge in a pear tree for this oh, one. So I've got a little piece of black card in my stamping platform here. I'm just going to anti-static first. Okay. And then the excess powder. So I've got my clear ink pad. Just going to give that a good ink. And let's see. There we are. My magnet slightly in the way. I'm just going to give that another ink. Make sure I've got plenty on there so it'll stick nicely. And that's the nice thing about the platform, isn't it? You can go back It is, there. yeah. Sometimes you're not not quite enough ink on there. So this way you can make sure you have... I, I can see there's ink there. Lovely. That looks good. Let's put that to the side. And this is my sticky powder. It's called Sticky Stuff from Judykins. Wonderful. I've 
got a couple of questions in a minute, Vicky, actually. Mm -hmm. But I've just had word we can get the angels back on extended delivery. So if you did just miss out on them, seven days delay, that's all it is. So from the 4th of August, if you have missed out on them because with the sell out there, you can get them. Just remember there is that little bit of waiting time, but well worth the wait. So back in stock. OK, so this powder does look white at the moment, but as okay. it melts, it will turn clear, you can see. So it's really easy on the dark card to see as it melts, and then you right, know it's all ready. It? There we go. So at this point, it's not a decorative powder, it's just a sticky, tacky powder. OK. So I've got in here... Uh, and carefully get this out. I've got a nice fresh sheet. Oh, yes, I remember seeing the sample now. Sarah said you were going to do this. Yeah, so I'm going to place the sheet on. You could use the flakes or the, you know, the leftover bits. Now I'm we do have those metal sheets available as well. Save the bigger pieces. And there I like to work, do this in one of my trays. So the best tool for this is actually your finger just okay. to give it a good press and burnish yeah. on there to make sure it's all stuck really well. OK. Now, you do okay. get some sticky stuff, the embossing powder here as well. So if you look at this, we've got the five oxidating red art metal lead sheets and you're also getting the Judikin sticky stuff, the embossing powder that uh, Vicky's just used there. £14.98, £972.375. Really lovely price, that. So once you've used your finger, just to make sure it's yeah. pressed on, I've just got a little stiff brush here. And you just it work the bristles around and it will pick off any of the loose bits Look that's not that. stuck to your glue. Oh, such a lovely there. effect. And the oxidising sheets there really do show those different colours, so it gives that lovely variation of colour, doesn't it? It does. This one's the red. I think we've got the blue as well available. Ooh. Slightly blue colours go through. We do so have a blue option for you. Brush off all those little extra bits, a little bit down there. Work your brush in. Now, if you do want to look at the blue sheets, it's part of a pick and mix. You don't get the embossing powder with that particular bundle, but there is a pick and mix, so you can go for any two. So if you've already got the sticky stuff, then you can go for that option if you like. Maybe go for one red, Ooh. one for blue, two blue, two red. It's entirely up to you. It's not the best with air conditioning, I have to say, these flakes. I know. <laughs> I've got a question, Vicky, actually, mm -hmm. because I was going to ask this earlier, but I think if I look at the stamp you're using, when it comes to the, the partridge in the pear tree, yeah. would you advise trimming around a little bit? Would you cut some of the rubber away so yes. you go more to the shape I, of the tree? I do. I always trim mine nice and neat, to be honest. So mine are... Lovely. Yes. It saves any excess ink, yeah. but you can you don't have to, but you can see if there's any extra ink on there and you just avoid it. OK. But, yeah, I... Um, so it's personal choice, but advisable. It is. Sarah always gives them to me because I cut really neatly. I get a bit obsessed with mine. <laughs> <laughs> it's just my thing, but it's not necessary. That is an easy one to cut out, though. So it's entirely up to you what you do. But if you follow Vicky's advice, it? then um, so I'll just steady with the scissors. So I've just really simply mounted it on a little bit of gold, a bit of copper card, that is just beautiful. to tie in. And then I've added one of the Merry, Merry Christmas. Greetings from the set. Oh, that is really, really classy again. And picking out the colours in the foil there with yeah. the matte and layering, it just pulls it yeah. all together beautifully. Right, now then, I think we've got another stock update coming up, actually. I'm just going to grab something for you. Oh, we are approaching limited stock on the sentiments. Again, these are on immediate dispatch, of course. If you, I don't know what's going to happen with the stock on everything. We will have to check if this goes as well. But for now, there's a little bit of stock left. If you really, really want these, please, please go for them now and uh, check those baskets out. But we will get back to Vicky. We'll keep you updated on those. Right, Vicky. Have we got more to say? I, yeah, I'm going to show you the angels. Peeking oh, and praying. Amazing. Now, these are back in stock with a week's delay. These absolutely flew out. 4th of August, well worth the wait. I adore these. These are my favourites, I think. Yes, they are so cute, aren't they? So, which one have I got? What well, peeking with the cross toes there? I'm going to start with this one. Uh, so my ink pad. There we go. So, I'm just using a black permanent ink for this. Okay. And I'm going to stamp her in the middle. Her. Her. Not him. 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 Her. <laughs> 
Do you think it could be? There couldn't could it? be. Either. It really could be. Either. Do you know? I'm just thinking, babe. You really wanted to make it look like um, a girl with longer hair. You could easily, with a fine liner, put a couple of little pigtails coming yeah. up the side of her head. Or a little you? band on the top, or yep. pigtails off. Yeah, that would work, I think. Oh yes, yeah. do play around with them. Create your own little angels as well. So I've also, with my uh, masking tape, I've stamped the angel, and I've trimmed her out, her again, <laughs> nice and neat. And I'm just going to cover this one oh. there we go so this is how you create your whole little choir <laughs> I, I really do love these so I've switched to the praying angel now oh, if you feel like you need to go and give them a cuddle they look I don't know they look shy or as though they've been told off a little bit but they've just got that adorable sort of those angelic. facial ex yes the angelic <laughs> well they are angels they have got angelic faces but they look the one with the eyes open their little cross toes I think that I think rather shy. I think maybe. she goes well with the words, of which I've actually, I'm using on this one. Have you been naughty or nice? She's yeah. a bit naughty, maybe a bit cheeky peeking there. You can decide, can't you? you? This is a nice thing. The different sentiments will give you a different sort of reaction to how you view them. So now, when I take my mask off, that, is so clever, that one's isn't front it? and centre, so they're yeah, not yeah. overlapping at all. So I'm going to keep that one. A bit fiddly to cut out sometimes these images, so I just keep my mask until they lose their stickiness. <laughs> That's a nice thing though, Vicky, because you've got 10 metres of that masking tape there. The fact yeah. that you can get more than one use out of it. Oh, you've definitely. used a minuscule amount there from mm -hmm. the whole roll. Yeah, it's, it's great for so many things. I use, I tear little bits off and use it to stick dyes down because it's low tack, it doesn't damage your paper. Because oh. it's very low tack, so yeah, it's really good for things like that. Does it tear with a, a, a fairly straight edge or does it give a ruffled edge? It depends how you tear. I like to tear it for rough edges. That's I what like I was thinking, so you can do your masking off and hills get Hills and your, grasses. Yeah. Oh, it's brilliant for that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we use it all the time, that sort of thing. That's going to be so useful. So, oh, I can't see without my little glasses, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Come to the colouring. Oh, there we go, I can see. <laughs> version of the angels these ones are bigger oh we made them a bit bigger right so now you're getting your your rubber stamps here without the wooden blocks um, I don't know if you picked up there what Sarah was saying if anybody previously because these have been seen on wooden blocks before but these are larger versions so if you've got the ones with the wooden blocks because these are you brand, brand these. new today yeah. aren't they You've got, again, those different sizes. You can create even... A bigger choir uh, with yeah. Yeah, more variation. Yeah, more... Love yeah. it. I wonder if anybody then, if you've already got these perhaps on the wooden blocks, perhaps you've got images of things that you've made in the past using these particular, these particular items. Look at the little rosy cheeks. Oh. You could do little freckles and be cute as well, wouldn't it? <laughs> These are the sorts of images where you are so keen just to have a play. Yes. You want to get them home. You want to just be stamping and trying different things out. You could add little bits of holly onto the halo as well and put a little wreath around the head. Make the wings out of vellum. Oh, that would be nice. <laughs> This is why we made these a little bit bigger than the previous, but they actually shrink really cute as well. If you want little angels in your, I was just um, going to say the cards. shrink plastic. I can imagine these yeah. being used yes. by, with the shrink plastic. Yeah. Oh, we've, we have got an image being sent in. Oh, Ooh. we're going to see this in a second. We'll let uh, Vicky carry on, but we have got an image coming up to show you shortly. I think, see, I've gone for a quite a teal colour, like Sarah. It's obviously our colour this year. Like <laughs> me, am I teal? You were. That you were using a teal colour earlier. That was, <laughs> that was <laughs> ages teal ago. colours. <laughs> yeah, no, we, we can show the image that's been sent in. This is from Sandra Fuller. Oh. Um, is it blue or is it teal? There. Oh look, oh, the pink no. and the blue together. So yes, it can be. These can be girls, boys, whatever you want them to be. Um, not that girls have to wear pink and boys have to wear blue. Certainly not. This is gorgeous. You're going to use these time and time and time again. These are timeless pieces, aren't they? Sandra, I know, you know, brings these out time after time as well. Just beautiful. 493-300 for the two stamps there, the Praying and the Peeking Angel. Do you know, already the extended stock, half of it is gone. Half of it is gone. You are absolutely loving these. I'm not surprised. Right, Vicky, where are we up to? Okay, so you saw me colour one of them, so I've just got the others already coloured here Lovely. and I've got my backing card I'm going to pop those on 
a bit of tape. Make nice little place names for the table as well, an individual oh, angel. They? Yes. You could write the name if you've got a little place name. This could be sort of stuck to the side, the left or the right, and then you can write the name on there. A little keepsake maybe for someone as they they leave your house if they've come for dinner. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? Or on gift tags. You could actually, if yeah. you my daughter was colouring these the other day, and you can make little hanging decorations for the tree. Oh, they're really sweet, aren't they? Yeah, she coloured hers all, I think it was yellow and purple. She is five. Yeah, oh yeah, she's only five. <laughs> so I'm just adding the sparkle because I think they need that. And I like to just, with the glitter glue, I just dab on the wings to spread the glue. Oh, a nice so got a little, little hint of glitter. Shine. There we go. And then for the finishing, I've just got, got the have you been naughty or nice words on here. A little tag and just pop that on there we go oh, i love it have you been naughty and nice let me know the one in the middle is it naughty is it nice don't just know cheeky. i think it, <laughs> i think that little angel in the middle is looking saying please no i have been good i promise i've been really really good there, isn't that adorable? Gorgeous. £13.50. and pence. We're going through that new stock very, very quickly. Dispatch from the 4th of August. Already 60% of the stock has gone. Oh, goodness me. 493-300 is the item note. Do not miss out on these. I think just talking to Vicky then, seeing the demonstration as well, it's kind of kicked in more ideas of how you can work with that. Uh, right then, so let's have a look what we're going to tell you about now. You can see there the angels. Let's have a little look. More samples there, of course, that you can see on the, the counter. All beautiful. The partridge in a pear tree, we've seen this in demonstration with Vicky there as well. Um, details coming in for these. Do pick out those pairs, pick out the partridge if you want, emboss with these, stamp directly onto your cardstock. So many different options you've got. A lovely stamp to work with. Again, it's a timeless one, isn't it? You're going to bring this out year after year. You could have a whole row of trees if you wanted to. £9.99 is the price on this one, 413999 Again, brand new today. Then another favourite of mine, you know, it was, was it the angel, was it the snowflakes? I think they will go perfectly together. These are so stylish, I adore them. Uh, I love these for the backgrounds. You could just bring in one individual snowflake, again, stamping with your stays on to acetate or your shrink plastic, as we saw in the first demonstration. However you choose to work with these, once again, absolutely timeless pieces, going to be used over and over again. 9 99 is the price. I'm just bringing one or two little samples in especially if I get them the right way up, there we are. 034838 is the item number. One of my favourites, and I shouldn't really have favourites, but I just think the simplicity of that, with the vellum over the top, how pretty is that? Do you know, if you've got a winter wedding, perhaps, this would be a great idea for invitations. You could have the details underneath there and the snowflakes over the top. Love it, absolutely love it. Right, now then, what else have we got? Oh, I need to pick something up, actually. The sentiments, I did borrow them. Limited stock on these. I'm going to put those back. You have got all those different sentiments there, 13 of them. These are clear stamps as well. The girls have not been doing the clear stamps ever so long, but they work beautifully. We've seen how precise, precisely they stamp as well. £10.99, item number 636785. Very, very useful set. And then the bauble wreath. This is a returning favourite. Let me just grab a couple of samples again so I can give you different variations. So we've got a total contrast, actually, in ideas. So you can see there, no wreath being used at all, but elements from that particular set. And then the little flowers overlaid, so certainly nothing about Christmas in that one. Um, we've got wedding samples here as well, but if you did want to go a little bit more seasonal, using the wreath there, merry and bright. I love that little sign. I think it's so useful. Do you know, I can see that on the little fairy door as well, saying fairy house, because you could write your own words in. So think about the other ways you can use those stamps within the set. It doesn't have to be Christmas at all. Ted 99 3518498. And then, if you haven't gone for this yet, I'm going to say, if you can afford to pop that into your basket, do go for it. 
Uh, now, because it's used for masking, but also we said about tearing it as well, using it for your hills, your clouds, all those different scenes. Um, Vicky does use it for holding down a dies because it's low tack as well. 15 centimetres wide, but 10 metres in length. And it is reusable. We can't say how long, it depends how you treat it, but you'll certainly get more than one use out of each of those that you use when you've stamped them out and masked off. 1999-888-209. Now, we do have seven day savers for you as well. Let's have a little glimpse at some of those as well. We've still got over four days left, but some of the stock may be vulnerable. We've got La Blanche on there. Very busy, always for La Blanche. We've got the scissors, the Oakwood micro serrated scissors. I know Joe, who was in yesterday, has these and recommends them. We've got World of Craft there. Lots of die cut elements, a whole bundle. And we've also got embossed card and top of frame set there. We've got MDF. Oh, if you're decorating your bottles, go for the lights with the cork tops. You've got three of the multicolour and three of the warm white. We've got Julie Hickey designs in there as well. Really some good treats for you. Yarn bundles, we've got all sorts, haven't we? And Madeira thread. Oh, don't miss out on the sewing magazine trio. That was very busy last night on the happy hour show. We mentioned that then. But I've got to give a mention to Sarah because she's ready, ready waiting in the wings to give us <laughs> another demonstration. Just a super quick card using the bauble wreath. But Lovely. not using the wreath. Not using the not wreath. Not using the wreath. Lovely. Lovely using stuff. The yes, other you're elements. You've got lots of stamps in that set. Yes. Yes. There are lots of small, useful stamps. So I'm going to start with the little fur, oh. fur branch, fur bit. And I'm using eye zinc because they're nice, strong, juicy colours. And I'm going to start in the middle because I want to kind of. Now, let me remember what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> that could actually be a feather as well. I always say that about the ferns because I, I can see. And you could create swags, you could create wreaths, you could create um, single branches. Well, what I'm doing is an attempt at a swag. Ah. So I've, you can't see it yet. I've got green on my finger now. And now I'm going to turn it around and I'm okay. going to use the same stamp, but go back in the other direction. Now, I'm so pleased you did that because how many of us, and I would probably have done the same, how many of us would have tried to go in the other direction but keeping the card in the same <laughs> spot rather than it's, just spinning it's it It's like round. when people are colouring and they, they turn their arm around. It's like, turn the card. It's much I easier. I don't know why we don't think of it straight away, but sometimes <laughs> we don't. We need reminding. So that is enough, I think, with the fur. Okay. So I'm going to pop the fur back and grab the little holly leaf. Oh, perfect. And a slightly darker green. Just tiny little taps. So we want to pop oh, that them is on. Sweet. And the fact that these are clear stamps as well, Sarah, means that you can see where you're going with them. Yeah, sometimes when I haven't put quite enough ink on, I haven't pressed hard enough, I go back over the top. Yeah. Even though I'm not using the hingy thing you can see enough to line up and let's have the last two there okay yeah, that's nice. on the holly so we'll pop the holly leaf back now in the set you might not have noticed three teeny tiny dots oh no I didn't spot those teeny tiny the berries there then separately is that what they are? Yeah. They're berries. Yeah. Or they're so just dots. you think of everything, don't you? It depends if you want berries or <laughs> so, or it can just be a little dotty background. Yes, or because you can build that up in an area, um, do as few or as many as you like. Again, a very useful little worker stamp. So it's just adding a touch oh. of colour. So I always just wipe them onto my wet cleaning mat and then pop them straight back now in the set there's also solid circles right okay which are designed to roughly fit inside the wreath circles oh i see the wreath circle is all hand drawn yeah and they don't fit exactly because they're all slightly different shapes but they fit approximately but that's nice because it'll give you more definition as well. It will look yeah. as though you've got more... Um, it's, it'll look a little bit more 3D, perhaps, if you've got a little difference between the shapes. And again, a very useful little stamp for building up, whether it's baubles, it could be, you know, just spots in the background. It can be whatever you want it to be. So I'm just 
stamping. It looks like I'm just randomly stamping these for now. And we'll just three red ones and let's do some purple. But I'm going to make them into hanging ornaments. Oh, lovely. Or baubles. Okay, so a little bit of purple. Ooh. Did I leave enough room for my oh, work? So you've got two not different sure. sizes in there. They're not all the There's one size. There's four different you've got sizes. Four. Yes. Four Very different useful. sizes. And then if I take you my build a caterpillar with those. Yes. Oh, definitely. But if you take a fine liner black pen, I sort of put my green fingers all over it, and just do a little kind of a scribble at the top of the ah. and then do your hanging thread oh everybody could do that couldn't they doesn't that look effective as well so you don't have to do it from the swag you could do it hanging off of a, some, a branch or just the top of the card do you know they could even make flowers growing from the garden they'd make you know when you get kind of the quirky whimsical yeah Tosal gardens and that sort of thing, and you, you get the, the flowers. They could make little unusual flowers growing in a garden. You yes. could add some of the fur as leaves yeah. on those or as well. Or you can just draw the stalks and then create, yeah. just do you know, like five little circles together. Yeah. And you've, yeah, or you've use those flowers. as the centre and put the petals around the edge. Do have a look at all of your stamps in the sets and see how you can adapt them. Now let's see if I left enough room to fit my stamp in here. Uh, just, just got enough room down there. There we are. For a Christmas wish. Now, what did I do with Remember, limited my stock box. on these sentiments, and we are approaching the end of the hour now, so uh, make sure you check those baskets out. Have you got another show today? No. No, you're no. only here for one hour. Only the one. Yes. Oh. But we're back on the 8th of August. Oh, not long then. No. So that's a week on Saturday then. Is it? It, well, yes, I only know this, Sarah, because I know this because I've got a clay show on the 1st of August and that's on Saturday. So oh. if you're here on the 8th, that's a week later. Uh -huh. I'm right, aren't I? I know sometimes when you've had a long day and you get a bit tired, your brain doesn't work. It is a Saturday, I've just said it confirmed. Or you've been some, talking to someone that's been working all weekend and they don't know what day it is. Yeah. But, uh, okay, so it's a Saturday. And then we're back on the 28th. The 28th of August as well? Yes. Oh, so we are busy. So that's now, what, special what day event. is the 28th of August? It's a Friday, a Friday, I'm being told. Yeah. For someone's fifth birthday, I believe. Oh, I wonder whose birthday that could be. <laughs> hmm. And then we're back at the end of September for our 28th birthday. Really? Yes. I know. I don't know that old. <laughs> wow. So then, just to add some bling, some glamour, I'm going to take my diamond glaze. When you're using the diamond glaze, you don't want to turn it upside down suddenly. You want to do it slowly because you don't want air bubbles. Now we do have this see. available as well. Now you're also getting the three nickel plated nibs included and three pins as well, which is important actually to have, th to have those pins. Nice generous size pot here as well for 9 99 This is going to go a long way and well worth popping in your baskets at the same time to give that effect. 644140. So it looks a little bit milky now then, Sarah. That's it, going to dry is, yeah, like a diamond, it, I presume. It, when it dries, it dries clear. And it's, a, it's also a permanent glue. Oh, so fabulous. on the last show, Vicky was mixing it with reinkers and I zinc pigment sprays yeah. and painting it on acetate. Oh, that's a good idea. Because so it's you've got your glue. colour, but it's yeah. going to hold, it's not going to flake off. Yeah. So I have one that I prepared earlier that's dried. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Again, so you can see lovely, all the shiny. Poor card, but very, very effective. So you can see all the shiny bits now, can't you? All the they diamond bits where it's dried. They? Gorgeous. Love it. And how quick oh. was that? What a shame, it's just one hour today. Do you know, I'm so pleased to have had a show with you ladies today because it has been, genuinely, it's been months and months and months since we've worked together. Um, 
Well, it's been a busy hour as well. Let's just give you a final reminder of the angels. They've been literally flying out. 80% of the extended stock has gone. You can still purchase after the hour, but when they're gone, you know, there's no other hours available today. Um, do take advantage of these. Don't miss out on them. They're absolutely adorable. 493300. Let's give you a reminder of one or two samples again. I'm not going to do anything by favourites. I'm just going to grab what I see or what's on top of the pile or just delve at the bottom of the pile. But let's have a look at various different options here I love that because you can see so many of the characters all the little uh, praying angels there with that one peeking one in the center let's go to the bottom of the pile here this is really nice as well is that a hint to that frame again there it is. oh yeah is that the one early August or later August or do we not know early August early August not long to wait the 8th of August if you're liking that frame just by that sure the chance frame. I picked it up yeah. there as well <laughs> I didn't do that on purpose I swear I'm just and that's sort got of the, digging the little down. postage thing on it as well that one you Ooh, just had has it you missed it <gasps> I did miss it how did I miss it because it's one of my favorite little things there it is <laughs> That's with the sentiments. They've been so busy as well. We are at the end of the show. Do you know what? Just as we've been counted down, I'm still going to keep picking up. I just like to do this. Show you as many <laughs> oh, as I can. Oh, that one's got another sneak peek in the background oh, as well. Don't the go anywhere. Don't go anywhere.